1984, Gail Stevens, a founder and one of the intellectual giants of the specialty of family medicine, organized a conference in Keystone, Colorado to review the philosophy, purpose, and meaning of family medicine 15 years after the formal founding of the discipline. His original idea gave birth to a series of conferences over the next 30 years that would continue that process. The American Board of Family Medicine Foundation honored the memory of Dr. Stevens by creating the G. Gail Stevens Keystone Conference Series, and in June of 2015, the inaugural event in this series, Keystone 4, was hosted in Keystone, Colorado. This three-day conference brought together family physicians, other primary care health professionals, patients, and community advocates, and continued the structure of an intergenerational conversation that Dr. Stevens employed 30 years earlier at his first Keystone Conference. The four major themes at the conference were history, relationships, place, and time. But the conference's chief purpose was to address the vision and challenges of being a personal physician in the 21st century through a series of questions. This brief excerpt from the conference focuses on the question, what is the role of the personal physician in today's healthcare system? I think the relationship is more than just listening and, and accepting narratives with one discrete person and another. It is in the face-to-face -face reaction, it is the coming together and that space in between where I think the richness, the possibility lies. The relationship that I want with my doctor is one of not only being my doc, but I want him to be my teacher. I want him to be my coach. I need him to help me be accountable for some of my actions because I'm here with him needing some help. And I, j I know that I didn't get here overnight and there's certain things that I need from him to help guide me through. Relationships are important, but there are technical things we do as family doctors. That is why we are not rabbis or ministers or shaman. But I think we need to be a little bit careful because the people that will criticize family medicine will say, well, that's all you guys want to talk about and not about are you accountable for quality, for access, and things that need to be measured. I think we need to meet patients where they are. We have to be the place of social conscious of medicine, and I think we have to have the culture of our specialty be the place of communities of solution. Integration with public health really explicitly and bold integrated teams that are given the power to do what they do best and I think we have to be present wherever that is. Regardless of how busy um, and frantic our day may be, we must promise to be present at the critical times in people's lives. Um, and that includes taking the authority within our practice and within our organizations at large to remain the authoritative figure that says, you know what, today's schedule ain't gonna work. Um, I've got to go make this house call or I've got to get Joe in here because he's really in trouble and um, schedule be damned, um, this is how we're going to do it. Access is not just the answer because oftentimes we have to address and understand the social determinants of health. People have food insecurities, cost issues, economic factors, social factors and these are often huge walls for patients to try to get past. So understanding that and addressing that in some manner and being a part of the voice and the process to get past those social barriers and social determinants of health. When we can feel present and empathetic, we can affect major changes in people's health. We're still doing medicine, we're still treating diabetes, we're still selecting medications for them, testing them, monitoring them, all that good stuff. But you can do that and be non-empathetic and get poor results or you can be empathetic and get amazing results. I want to know what's going on in you. Tell me what's making it happen. Don't give me the surface. Don't tell me where it hurts just there. What caused it? What's the root of it? That then helps me want to give you that information and it helps me think a little bit about it. One must still risk and survive failure. Say yes to adventure. Learn to be comfortable with vulnerability. One must still enter the darkness where you develop imagination and the ability to empathize with the brokenness of others. One must still recognize and gain allies. We are no longer just personal family physicians. 
We are now becoming a community of healing relationships, generating communities of solution. We need to capture people's actual stories. We, relationships, you taught me. Relationships are about moving from the factual to the meaningful. My promise is to take this work forward, to help us translate this into policy and work that will make a difference with those values to bring us forward for personal physicians for the future.